Hey everyone, how's it going? I want to make a quick video about soap. I got a text message. Soap? I don't use soap or shampoo. And the first two reactions I get from people when I say that is, that's fucking disgusting and why on earth would you do that? But I might be able to shed some light on why I don't use soap, soap or shampoo. I have not been doing that. I have not been using soap and shampoo now for well, since, uh, since around about March time, <clears throat> I cut it out completely. I do occasionally, occasionally use some very soft organic soap if I feel like I'm really disgusting, but that's pretty much never at this point. I'm confident that my body has the ability to be clean by itself as long as I'm giving what it needs. So I grabbed some uh, soap from the shower that my roommate uses here. This looks kind of fancy. It's uh, energy orange ginger body wash and foam bath. Let's read some of the flavor text, shall we? This fast foaming body wash is infused with soothing skin conditioners, while an aromatherapy blend of essential oils invigorates the senses for a quick pick-me-up. That sounds delightful. Well, I did take a look at the ingredients list, and it's, it's huge. I don't know if you can see it. It's that second paragraph right here in really fine print. There is a ton of ingredients on this shampoo. And one of them I picked out right away, right near the top, is sodium lauryl sulfate. Sodium lauryl sulfate is a cleaner that you will find in a majority of conditioners, shampoos, and body washes. Why? Not because it's particularly safe, but because it's incredibly inexpensive. Shampoo corporations, any, any sort of cleaner corporations, care about their bottom line. Unfortunately, this may be a shock to you. They don't give a fuck about your skin or your health. It's about the profits for the shareholders, okay? So I went ahead and looked online and I will link this below as well. It is an MSDS uh, material safety data sheet for uh, sodium lauryl sulfate. This is from sciencelab.com. I deem it to be fairly, um, you know, decent of an, uh, an origin. This is a legit MSDS. Um, right at the top, <clears throat> you will see if you take a look, uh, by yourself. The health factor is two. Fire is one. Reactivity is zero. That's your basic overview of um, reactivity with, with uh, you know, biological contact. That's your skin, eyes, whatever. Uh, fire is its flammability rating. Reactivity is uh, how uh, susceptible it is to reacting with um, other compounds or how isolated you should keep it. Um, <clears throat> so I went ahead and went right down to the section four, which is first aid measures. And we have a couple of different sections here, one for eye contact, skin contact, serious skin contact, and inhalation. Keep in mind, this is the most popular cleaner used in your soaps and shampoos that you're putting all over your body every single day. So I'm going to skip the eye contact one because, I mean, it sucks when you get soap in your eye. Everyone knows that it hurts and you've got to wash it out. Skin contact, though, this is interesting. In case of contact, immediately, immediately excuse me, flush skin with plenty of water. Cover the irritated skin with an emollient. Remove contaminated clothing and shoes. Cold water may be used. Wash clothing before reuse. Thoroughly clean shoes before reuse. Get medical attention. <clears throat> Get medical attention for skin contact for this stuff, given that this is 100% um, concentration of this cleaner. But you, you're using this stuff every day all over your body. There is a section for serious skin contact. Wash with a disinfectant soap, which may ironically contain the very same chemical you're trying to remove, and cover the contaminated skin with an antibacterial cream. Seek immediate medical attention. That's intense. For this soap? That's crazy. They're saying seek medical attention for serious skin contact. And I mean, you're taking this soap and rubbing it all over your body. That's just one ingredient on this. And there are tons like... I don't read some of these weird ones off. Hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. <clears throat> I've got a lot of practice reading these. Uh, tocopheryl acetate. Um, what else we got here? Oh my god, this one I can't even. There's like two at the end. Methyl chloro chloroisothiazolinone. I don't know what the fuck that is, but it starts with methyl, and that's bad, I believe. You can look it up for yourself. Check, check material safety data sheets for the ingredients of your soap that you're using every day, and you, I promise you, you will be shocked 
and maybe, maybe you'll take a moment to find some soap, or shampoo, whatever it is, if you choose to continue using it, that doesn't have these industrial chemicals in it. This is industrial cleaner. This is used uh, for some heavy duty stuff. Um, yeah, so quick video there on the soap thing. I don't use soap and shampoo. My skin is very healthy. You know, I do have uh, some blotches on my skin right now and my shoulders and back. I'm going through a little raw food detox right now. But I'm feeling great and my skin has never been healthier. My scalp has never been healthier. In fact, uh, before I stopped using shampoo, I was experiencing some hair loss around the back of my head. And it's kind of hard to see now, but it was around the kind of crown area and around the front uh, where your hair is a little bit thinner anyway. Um, I was freaking out about that shit. If you're, if you're one of my friends, you know I was just freaking out about this hair loss. I could not handle it. I stopped using shampoo and my hair has never been healthier. It's very thick and uh, very full and very strong. So, all that being said, take a look for yourself at the ingredients in the shampoo and the soap you're using every day and uh, educate yourself a little bit. Alright, peace and love everyone.